Hello guys and welcome to my channel to another exciting Super Sunday video. Today I'll show you my uh, simulator settings. Um, that settings are used to record my videos in Prepare 3D. I'll show my general P3D settings, then Active Sky settings and also NVIDIA Inspector. I use NVIDIA Inspector as I gain uh, on the smoothness of the simulator and also my simulator um, looks better than so. You can also check my hardware down in the description and let's get started. In today's video I'll talk more about the general aviation section of aircraft settings um, but you can also use those settings for airliners. I prefer using uh, two presets. So one preset is for VFR uh, aircrafts and flying for VFR. And so that is the profile that I'll be using uh, and I'll be explaining today. And I also had a preset for uh, airliners like FS Labs um, A320 and you can also use that kind of uh, presets for the PMDG aircraft aircrafts. And uh, these, uh, the second preset uh, settings uh, will be revealed in the next uh, Super Sunday video, so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. And also let me know in the comment section if the settings improved your smoothness or uh, you gained in the uh, FPS in your simulator. And let me now start uh, with the settings of Prepare 3D. Um, we'll take a look at the graphics section, as the general section is not that uh, needed. Um, so you're going to display. Uh, this is the custom profile I made, and uh, I'm using RTX uh, 2070. Uh, the FX AA is off for me and the anti-aliasing is to 4 uh, SSAA. You can have it in this range from 8 uh, MSAA and to in the range of 8 MS, uh, correction, SSAA. Yes, it's um, good for me. Um, then I have uh, texture filtering to 16 and the texture resolution to high. Um, so the frame rate controls, I use the uh, VSync off and the target frame rate to unlimited as I'm uh, limiting the uh, frame rates in the NVIDIA inspector. And also here are some other things you can uh, choose. Then going to world section. Um, so here I have the terrain uh, data, uh, level of data radius is set to high tessellation factor also too high, the mass resolution is to 5 meters and the texture resolution to 7 centimeters. I also use uh, high resolution terrain textures uh, in this um, preset and then going to scenery objects I have the scenery complexity to very dense, autogen and scenery draw distance to high. As for VFR flying I don't need uh, much more than that. And for ad autogene vegetation and building density, I have to extremely dense so I can see the every house um, in my simulator. So here are some water and special effects, but these are not uh, to mention here. And by that, you can also use uh, dynamic 3D autogene vegetation or not uh, as you prefer. I, pr I prefer using it uh, sometimes, but um, sometimes not. So here is the lightning section, I let this to default and also casting and receiving, uh, here are some modifications uh, you can perform to cast or receive shadows and the shadow set uh, quality is set to high and shadow draw distance also to high. I also use dynamic lightning and um, landing lights illuminate on the ground. And here is the weather section, um, here I have the cloud draw distance to 60 miles as I have these, um, these settings uh, in the active sky to a greater uh, draw distance and also the cloud coverage must be to maximum unless uh, 
there uh, the active sky will not show the overcast clouds. And I also use detailed clouds and volumetric for uh, detailed precipitation and uh, wheel chart effects. And also I have enabled turbulence and thermal effects on the vehicle. So now moving on towards uh, active sky settings for prepared uh, 3D uh, version 4. The things to mention here are only minimum cloud draw distance is set to 60 uh, and the maximum cloud draw distance is set to 110. That works fine for me. Uh, and also our the word mentioning here is the enhanced turbulence which must be sent, uh, set to off um, because it uh, makes the aircraft unflyable if you turn it on. I, I had it uh, on a few weeks ago and uh, I was unable to fly the aircraft so uh, switch this to off, uh, that's important. Moving on to NVIDIA Inspector, I'll put a link uh, in the description for NVIDIA Inspector. Um, so you open it up and uh, you go to the prepare 3D profile and then uh, you, need, uh, you have few things to consider here. Uh, I have a uh, frame rate limiter set to 40 um, as I can sustain uh, at least 40 to 50 uh, FPS in the simulator. Make sure that the limit of your frame rates uh, that's the lowest you can sustain in the simulator. Then I have the ver vertical sync set to half refresh rate uh, that makes uh, the simulation looks uh, less uh, stuttering. You can also use uh, one third on one fourth refresh rate, but I mainly use uh, half refresh rate. And then I also got the sentializing setting uh, which is uh, for a sparse grid super sampling. You can also use that. And uh, I also found that uh, this setting for multi-display option um, it's def by default set to multi-display performance mode, but you can uh, check it to single display performance mode, so only one display uh, will be focused. And if you want, you can also um, choose here the, uh, that you could prefer a maximum performance, not the optimal uh, performance, which is set by default. And if you want, uh, you can also get this um, profile that I made uh, in the description. And at the end, don't forget to apply the changes. So all prescribed uh, settings that I have uh, shown you are uh, pretty good for my um, hardware, for my computer. Um, I use this as a set uh, for general aviation uh, traffic, for general aviation um, flights and uh, I don't have any uh, massive stutters and I also have uh, 40 to 50 FPS by that and uh, here are some videos uh, on the top you can see that are uh, recorded uh, by that settings and you can also try these settings if you want feel free uh, to comment below and uh, say your thoughts about uh, the video and about the settings and also stay tuned uh, till the next Super Sunday where I will um, reveal the settings for FS Labs and PMDG aircrafts which is for more complexive uh, airliners in the sim world so check the next Super Sunday video Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Bye bye, see you soon.